This episode of Man of Prestige is because some people are going to watch this 50 years from now and be like, what do we mean by modern? Well, with respect to the times that you live in, you always have to evolve because remember number one, reason number one, change is constant. So if you're not evolving with the times, right? Like for example, women don't need you to physically feed them anymore. If you're not evolving with that, you're going to be a weaker man for the society and the times that you live in. And that's precisely what I'm trying to say. Reason number one, competition, equality, and vice versa, right? When you're finding yourself as a man competing with the ladies, right? Oh, she says something, then you wanna say back at her, right? Okay, you're trying to play the equality game and it creates chaos. It's the same reason why when women bring the feminism movement into the household, into a relationship between a man and a woman from a romantic standpoint, it creates chaos. Men of prestige, um, the modern man is weaker, okay? The modern man is more so in his feminine than ever before. There's something called the feminine imperative it's not necessarily your fault. There's a lot of factors that goes into that. Um, the feminine imperative is, is something that I would definitely say Google it. I think I I think I got the idea from I think I got it from the Rational Mail or something. I'm still reading the book, by the way. Uh, I I came into this space of men manosphere red pill, which I don't consider me uh, as a part of, by the way, because I think it's a lot of bullshit in it. But um, I came into it the through uh, other means, not necessarily through the rational meal. I think a lot of people came in through the rational meal. But anyway, there are three reasons why I think men of nowadays, I think if you read rational meal, I recommend the book. But when you read it, don't read it one time. Okay? If you read it one time, you will end up in uh, you will end up in anger, unnecessary anger, and you may get stuck there. I want you to read it multiple times until things consolidate because the person that wrote the book last time I checked is still married, okay? So if you end up in anger and then you say, I'm just going to disengage from relationships in general, you will hurt yourself. You will still hurt yourself because you're a man like the rest of us. You're a human being like the rest of us and you need love and connection. That's a fact of life. Okay. And if you, if you're fighting marriage so hard, it tells me that you need to be married, but not now. Okay. You need to consolidate a lot of that hunger. Um, but anyway, here are three reasons why that I think men, modern men are weaker. Reason number three, change is constant. Men are changing. So again, I'm not saying it's your fault. Men are changing. The society is changing. Things are changing. So if men are changing because like, for example, here's a quick example. Women don't need you from a standpoint of physical protection and provision anymore. They just don't. Okay. They, they, as a matter of fact, a lot of them are getting paid more than a lot of men, right? So what they still need, however, is emotional protection and provision. Only a man can bring that to most women still, right? And if you don't know how to do that, then you have a serious problem in your hands and precisely you're weaker than the men that you need to be in today's environment. The men of 1960s were what they were for the 1960s environment. In the 2022s and beyond, you need to be you need to be strong enough a man for this time and age and unfortunately a lot of men are falling short because they think everything is facts and figures and physical and logic uh, without and they're actively discounting feelings and emotions that's always going to backfire as you can see everywhere right now reason number two misplaced feminine energy okay when you're trying to compete with the feminine energy from a woman and you call it masculine it's called misplaced feminine energy. A lot of people call it masculine, being masculine or being alpha, right? But it's actually misplaced feminine energy, okay? If you feel like you have to be loud, like if you feel like you have to compete with the female uh, species, right? A female gender, right? Then I'm sorry, that's misplaced feminine energy. It's okay to have feminine energy. As a matter of fact, I think all human beings have masculine and feminine energy in the society that we live in today men are expected to be more masculine okay and if you lack game you will argue with what you're expected to be females are expected to be in their feminine energy meaning they receive and multiply right so what i found from my assessment is that it's actually more 
of a natural thing as well it is nurture it's society it's social standards but it's obviously after a while after a few thousands of years and people behave in a certain way it's safe to call it natural it's also safe at least it's safe to feel like to say many people will consider it natural so let's call it natural right but i'm telling you right now that a misplaced feminine energy misplaced masculine energy uh if you're not able to handle a misplaced masculine energy as a man you will essentially create misplaced feminine energy and what will happen is that you are now weaker you're weaker man you're weaker man considering the fact that you're a modern man okay we live in the modern times right modern is with respect to obviously the new age because some people are going to watch this 50 years from now and be like what do we mean by modern well with respect to the times that you live in you always have to evolve because remember number one reason number one change is constant so if you're not evolving with the times right like for example women don't need you to physically feed them anymore if you're not evolving with that you're going to be a weaker man for the society and the times that you live in and that's precisely what i'm trying to say reason number one competition equality and vice versa right when you're finding yourself as a man competing with the ladies right oh she says something then you want to say back at her right okay you're trying to play the equality game and it creates chaos it's the same reason why when women bring the feminism movement into the household into a relationship between a man and a woman from a romantic standpoint it creates chaos okay nothing good can come out of it because by default when you're trying to build a household from a romantic standpoint there has to be some kind of structure there has to be leadership yes concurrently with partnership there has to be some kind of leadership because when things go wrong it has to fall on some kind of leadership also when things go right it has to fall on some kind of leadership it brings structure but again i have to face you as a man and tell you that you get to set the tone the women get to build the home right it's the tone that you set typically a woman does not have a problem with leadership unless you're actively competing with her meaning you're playing the equality game which only women should be playing that kind of game you're playing that game with her you're saying what about what about ism what about me what about men if you're playing this kind of game within the context of a romantic relationship you will create chaos and you effectively be will be a weak man in your relationship so this is one this is the third reason reason number one that i feel the modern man is weaker if you want to be a modern man that's strong in this time and society you have to lean in and read up a little bit more and process and continue to understand because again if you think you know it all right now it's going to backfire there's something changing something is moving change is the only constant the way we relate with the female gender something has to change something has to adjust with the times that we live in and for as long as you continue to reference 1960s and the 50s and the 70s or 50 years ago you will continue to fail with women okay not just in the marriage because i know it's very quick to say i will just avoid marriage you know even in short-term relationships you will find yourself in toxic situations where women are walking out on you or of more so like women are walking out or you or you feel the need to kick women out all the time this is more so about your weak ability to handle a woman and that's just what it is and you just look at the results and it to speak volume at you all right men of prestige again i was a little bit all over the place but i tried to put some structure we're going to continue this conversation very soon uh into even more elaborate conversations so i look forward to having you engage with me i want to have conversations with you i can't wait to start having those conversations and i'll see you on the next one peace man of prestige